The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. Remember that the Pythagorean theorem states that if a triangle is a right triangle, then the sum of the squares of the legs of the triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, or a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The converse of the Pythagorean theorem, on the other hand, states that if the sum of the squares of two sides of a triangle is equal to the square of a third side, or a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. Remember that the converse switches the order of the if and then statements. So in the Pythagorean theorem problems, like the ones in the previous sections, we're given that a triangle is a right triangle, and we're asked to find the length of a missing side. In the converse of the Pythagorean theorem problems, we're given the lengths of all three sides of a triangle, and we're asked if we have a right triangle. So let's say we're given a triangle with sides of lengths 3, 4, and 5, and we're asked to determine if it's a right triangle. The converse of the Pythagorean theorem tells us that if we can show that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then we'll know that it's a right triangle. So does 3 squared plus 4 squared equal 5 squared? 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and 5 squared is 25. So we have 9 plus 16 blank 25. 9 plus 16 is 25, so we can see that 25 equals 25. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and remember that if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then the triangle is a right triangle by the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So the triangle with sides of lengths 3, 4, and 5 must be a right triangle. <laughs> 